Hello my friends, uh, what we have here is a Moran's Super Audio CD player SA11 Series 1. As you see it needs a bit of a nudge to close the door, even another nudge to actually really close it. And the same goes for opening, sometimes it's just not going to open. Hopefully that won't be too big of an issue. Um, as you see, there's a nice CD text there. I've already fixed the remote control, which uh, now works. And uh, and its final issue is the fact that... Um, I'll better turn it down a bit. Uh, is that it doesn't read everything. It reads uh, Super Audio CDs fairly well. And it reads some CDs, the ones with good reflectivity. But uh, it doesn't read any CDRs uh, at all. Just even even the ones that are being read on every other player. So uh, has many features on uh, the thing. You can turn off a display, which is not really all that um, fancy these days. But you know, CD text, which is more common on Super Audio CDs. But you know, you have uh, three different filters that you can engage, but um, to do that you have to stop playback of, uh, of those. So, um, what have we got inside? Inside we have, although it's not the Kenny Shuata thing, it's a, um, as you see, uh, old copper chassis and has a nice uh, Moran statues. A transformer is in um, metal can. Um, capacitors are all Elna, uh, these two are Elna for audio, most of them are Silmic and the ones there are Seraphine. So uh, we'll see what's the next one like. So uh, it is as you see surface mount um, all the way through, it's a modern unit. Um, you know, high scale of integration of chips. This looks like SM series DAX there. Uh, let me see if I can read. In the old age, you know, my eyesight is not as good. SM5866AS. Um, okay, so uh, good quality of construction. Um, you know, the power board board as you see takes most of it most of the real estate with audio and processing I don't know what's underneath this particular unit as you see is filthy it's just got so much dirt uh, I'll have to uh, clean it up one interesting thing is that um, all this business here that looks very fancy well that there, which I've taken off, is obviously not only just to strengthen the chassis, but you can see it is to hold um, or stop the vibration of the uh, DVD-ROM, because that's what it is. That fancy bit of metal also is sort of mainly there for show. Uh, and, and underneath we have, a um, surprisingly, Hitachi unit, which is, I think, HOP 1200W. Hitachi is a very good company, and obviously, you know, Moran's decided to use them rather than... I don't think Philips even did anything that was decent enough um, at the time. But anyway, it's a, it's a nice unit. It has a balance out. Uh, Moran's is not known for good balanced outputs. They normally just use transformers and pretend to be a, um, a, a proper balance thing, but I cannot really say here, I haven't seen the diagram as yet. So um, this is just my sort of quick impression. I'm a bit worried about those capacitors right next to regulators, but I suppose that's good engineering, you know, the, the, the closer they are to the regulators, the better filtering. So, uh, and these are still me, so they should be all right, uh, you know, if the owner wants to wants me to check it, well I will, otherwise I mean unit place, so um, I only sort of visit that if um, I cannot restore the playback of um, 
CDRs and all of the CDs without, um, you know, uh, digging deep. So uh, that's all, and uh, this is a nice box. You can do, you can change that to to CD because that's a dual mode um, disc. All the other controls are pretty much standard. The unit looks good and is in, in good condition. At the back, there's more of um, more of copper. Uh, and reasonably fancy XLRs. Nothing extraordinary, but you know they look the part. Um, as you see, they put tape so the connectors don't free themselves. Somehow they're only worried on that end, not on the other, and not on that particular ribbon. But well, God knows why is that? Why they use a different uh, plugs there? And what's the story? Well, that's enough of my mumbling and uh, till the next one. Bye-bye.